And now, a special message from the Democrat Party to all Joe Biden voters. So are you guys really just going to bend over and take it? I mean, I realize I've been making fun of this guy since the day he was elected. But if you don't mind, I'm actually going to defend him against the Democrat Party today. And before I get accused of it, it is not because I'm afraid Kamala Harris is going to beat Trump. It's because I have something called empathy. And I know that if I had voted for Joe Biden back in 2020, I'd be extremely angry right now. Because they seem to have convinced everyone that old Joe's mental decline is something new. And I don't know how they convinced you of that, but I too watched the debate with old Joe versus Trump. And to me, it just looked like business as usual. And for some reason, it was all over the internet the next day that old Joe had suddenly lost his marbles. Were you aware of the fact that old Joe had two cranial aneurysms back in the 80s? I I had two cranial aneurysms. And they literally had to take the top of my head off. I mean, they take a saw and they cut your head off and, and go in to find the artery that is one was leaking, the other that hadn't. I said, Doc, what, what are my chances? I had two great neurosurgeons. And I'll never forget, I will not mention his name, he's one of the leading neurosurgeons in the, in the, in the world. Um, he said, uh, Senator, for mortality or morbidity? And I'm thinking... <laughs> I swear to God. I'm thinking, oh, geez, you know, well, I said, let me put it this way. It's an absolutely true story. I said, what are my chances of getting off this table and being completely normal? He said, well, your chances of living are a lot better. And I said, what's the most likely thing that will happen if I... uh, if I live, but what he said, well, the side of the brain that the first arter, the first aneurysm is on controls your ability to speak. <laughs> and I thought, why in the hell didn't they tell me this before the 88 campaign? Uh, it could have saved us all a lot of trouble. You know what I mean? I mean, they cut off the top of his skull and set it down on a table like a salad bowl. Then they put him back together again, like Humpty Dumpty. And suddenly now we're wondering what's wrong with Joe's mental state and his ability to speak. Can you not see what's going on here? Suddenly everyone noticed that there was something wrong with Joe. And it made them all realize he had no chance against Trump. And then about a week and a half later, someone shoots Trump. And apparently since Trump is still alive, we now need to replace Joe. I guess just because Trump is a living, breathing candidate. And we all know that Joe can't compete with that. Plus, his mental decline started a long time ago. It's nothing new. Because I've been making fun of the way this guy speaks for the past four years. Remember how the media was covering it all up by saying that he had a speech impediment? That's what they've been telling you this whole time. I mean, these people have literally been shitting in your mouths and calling it a hot fudge sundae. And you're just going to sit there and smile and keep eating? It's really surprising what you guys are willing to put up with. I obviously don't like Joe. But I think the Democrat Party betrayed him after he took on all this responsibility by doing exactly as he was told and reading the words that they put in front of his face. And I think it's obvious why they're doing this. It has nothing to do with Joe's mental health. The reason they're doing it is because Kamala Harris's polling numbers are slightly higher than Joe's. That's it. And I think the Democrats should be ashamed of themselves for abusing this old man publicly for the past five years. The timing of all this and the Democrats' erratic behavior makes them look extremely guilty. Guilty of what, you say? Guilty of attempted assassination of a presidential candidate. If Trump's assassination attempt was just a run-of-the-mill attempted murder, the Democrats would be in jail because they'd be the prime suspect. I just want you to remember that when you go to cast your vote for Kamala or whoever else the Democrats decide to replace her with. And I don't know how you people can continue to respect yourselves. Because as far as I'm concerned, 21st century Democrats remind me a lot of 19th century Democrats, if you know what I'm saying. You look like you've got something to say. Do you? Yes, I certainly do. I have to go now. My planet needs me. (laughs) 